joking. Now, I guess many of you are wondering why I brought this giant clock up on the stage. Well, it's 7.26 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, you have to spend 5 seconds with me. But what is second, though? Second is both moment and a perception, a perception of change. Um, however, here's a strange thought. We never perceive second while it's happening, but we perceive second after it has passed. So what I mean is the nature of time. We only get to experience it first, but we realize its existence after it has passed. Time exists, clearly. However, how it means is really different. For example, an hour doing what you love may feel shorter than several minutes in a tough situation. So today, I'm going to define time as it exists for me, and hopefully, I can give you some insights about the definition of time. In a current society, people often think time as an absolute value, an absolute value that we can study it or standardize it. For example, people usually use time as a measurement. Let's say there is a car that can drive 60 kilometers in an hour. In that situation, people would say, say that car has a 16.67 meter per second of speed. And like that, people these days usually measure time in order to measure productivity. So what I mean by that is if you work for two hours, you have to have a result that demonstrates that two hours in, or in order to make your work productive. But can we standardize time and utilize it at any occasion at any time? My answer is no. Time, um, I personally think time in a different way. Rather than focusing on how much time it takes to do certain actions and how long it stays, I believe that we have to focus on how those actions influence in others' time in an intangible way. So simply said, Productivity should not be measured um, nor judged with the absolute value of time. Instead, productivity should be measured with the time that has a relative value. What I mean by that is rather than focusing on the number itself, we have to think and how much dedication and value is hidden under the number of time. So here, as an answer, I had this special but a bit awkward experience. It was right after a Halloween party and I had this dance performance. And after that performance, a friend of mine came to me. He was like all excited. And he was saying like, Michelle, that was amazing. You're like this, you're like that. How did you do that? It was amazing. And I was like, thanks, bro. And that um, friend asked me, how many times did you put on that single performance? And I answered, about a month. And then, after I said that, that friend's eyes was like booming and he was giving like this face at me and I was like, what's wrong? And he said, a month? That's insane. Like, why don't you use that time to do other things that are more productive? And that was when I wanted to stop and ask him, what's productive? What do you mean by productive? And actually, I should have. I didn't. Anyway, people, and usually those people who've never been on the stage, continue on judging how I'm wasting my time for a single performance. And mathematically, they're not 100% wrong, because spending 43,200 minutes seems quite a lot for a single three-minute performance. But when I judge it with the relative value of time, I can definitely say my stage was worth it and it is productive. Because in that three minute performance, I get so many things out of, out of it. For example, we get people's attention like I'm doing right now, we get people's prices, feedbacks, and if I'm lucky, I get to linger in people's minds even longer than three minutes. And these are the values that weigh way more than that 43,200 minutes that I've prepared for. So my thought is that time is not a currency that we have to spend. Because there is a quality of life that 
um, overweighs than a single number. Um, that's why I believe that time should be relative. Imagine that you have been awake for 22 hours, but you have this huge headache. Can you say that 22 hours was worth it? But imagine that you have spent the same second, but you talk with your friends, you've learned a new language, or you learned a new skill. Connections, learning, and discovering new skills are the topics that transcend the typical definition of time. So back to dancing. Time is relative concept, because when I dance, my three-minute performance gets to permeate in others' lives. So what I'm saying is that I get this chance to be part of your daily life right now. And depending on the audience's size, I may take 300, 3,000, or even more minutes and have a chance to focus their attention only on me. And also, if I'm lucky, I may have a lasting impact on their life, which, is, which nobody can have. So my investment of time can expand time. Does my performance make people happier? Does that not have value? I mean, how long does it take for someone to become happier from a neutral position? So my investment of time here actually make others to use their time in a better way. What I mean by this is because when people are happier, they work better, and they make better decisions, and they also spread their happiness. And these and this multiplier effect is what I'm striving for in my Sangha performance. Even though on a pure measurement of three minutes, uh, it might seem small, however, the hidden meaning and the value goes beyond that single three minutes. And actually, this same logic applies to you too. If you're a student, you spend a lot of time in preparing tests like SATs and finals, right? And all of that preparation time is converted to a single number or a single letter. And a lot of people say that putting that much time just to get a single number and a letter is a waste of time. Yet, look at the reality. Those measurements have long-lasting impacts on your life. Now pretend that you have spent four hours on preparing your SATs and preparing on your extracurricular activities. And after that four years, you've got over 1,500 in your SAT score, and you have sufficient amount of extracurricular activities. There will be this single paper that shows all of your, all of your work ca called resuming. I know that a single paper of resume won't be able to show all your sweat that you've made. However, that single paper shows you the bigger picture. The bigger, pic the bigger picture of college, your career, and even your life. And these are the values that can't be bought with money, but only with your time. And that's why time in this case has brought you fame, your college degree, your career, and furthermore, your life. Can we even put a price tag in those values? So what I want to say is simple. Time is a relative concept. So don't be that person who measures time and rationally judge that dedication in some areas will or will not be worth it. What that time means to someone else may have a value that is hard to explain in only with words. And now, let me finally prove my logic to you. My seven minute speech transcended my 216,000 minutes of preparation because I just have inspired you. My 216,000 minutes of writing the reason why I have to be the speaker, clicking the submission button, writing out the outline, fixing my roster for four times, and preparing slides, rehearsing, memorizing these lines, were only dedicated to inspire you here and now. And I just did, which gives an honor and a shine to my 216,000 minutes of preparation. But actually, this speech does not really satisfy me because what I truly believe in, and what I believe in that actually values, is actually something else. Yes, you've guessed it, it's dancing. All of this story um, comes from dancing, and through performing dances, I was able to realize this magical characteristic of time. So now, I would like to entertain you at this very moment, and prove everything that I've said for the past seven minutes. And before I show you my own dance, I'm going to show you a clip of video that shows all of my preparation for this dance. So please enjoy the video.
and let's all thank them. Um, I have to breathe. So that was about a minute, a minute performance. And yes, it is short, but I put all of my energy into that single performance. Thank you. So that I could take your attention, so we can make our connection, and so I can prove my speech. Thank you for giving me another chance about this priceless experience. And I totally feel blessed to stand here and to inspire you. Thank you. It was mission.